Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Live with Naz, Quarantining in Corona, episode number 294. Alrighty, uh, let's see who is here with us today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everybody is getting the notices that we are live. And let's see, what do we got? Sarah, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see who else is joining us today. I think is it gonna do the same thing? It is gonna do the same thing like you did in the last few days. I guess it wants to. So Facebook, thank you for another confusion today. Okay, here we go. I think we are gonna be yes, we're confused as any day. Okay, so let's see if we can make this work. Come on, come on, Facebook. We're not playing now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, who, so who do we have here? We have, we have Sarah. We have Courtney Wise. Hello, Michael Ramirez. Hello, 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 beautiful people. Bobby Miller. Hello, Naz and family. Mr. Alan Goodwin. Howdy. Can't see anyone again, but I have faith that they are all there. All right. Uh, Sarah, hi to all our YouTube people. Yes, we're going to go say hi to our YouTube people. I'm glad you mentioned them. Welcome, welcome, my YouTube people. How are you? All righty. Let's see. What do we got? All right. My YouTube people are here. And let's see. Good to see you all. So, okay. Bobby Miller, Bobby Miller, Bobby Miller. How are you? Becky Ottenberry, how are you, young lady? It's good to see you. Hopefully you guys had the chance to watch the podcast today. Oh, oh, with the technical stuff. You know, when you do a show like this, the problem could be either from my equipment or Facebook, right? That's it. When you do a podcast, it could be my equipment the software or the guest and this time it was the guest so we had a hard time with his microphone i hope you guys were able to hear him okay because it was interesting and i had to get my son john a little bit of filler until we got kent yamawaki ready so hello rita i hope i hope they give you a I notice that we are live. Amy, welcome back, Amy. Catherine Allen, how are you? Let's see, Rita, Rita, Rita. Okay, so can someone tell me if you watched the podcast, was the voice clear? Was, uh, what's his name, Kentia Milwaukee's voice clear? Debbie Malone, how are you? Okay, this will be delayed, but hello to Becky, Amy, <laughs> Catherine, Bobby, Debbie. I wanted to hear more from John Riscala. I know. We'll get him back on the show. He's When he comes back from New York, he's going to New York and Baltimore for a month. And when he comes back, then we will be able to do so. And by the way, uh, from uh, July 7th until July 17th, I'm going to be in Baltimore, so the show will be in hiatus. And um, Pancho Gonzo from Fresno. Hello, Frank. And Becky, I watched. I had a little feedback, but I could understand. Yeah, the audio of the podcast was okay. The visual was choppy, but it worked out. Yeah, it wasn't. It was one of my worst podcasts as far as the technical part. But... I, I don't want you guys to miss that point that he said because this is something we took a lot of acting classes together and Lonnie Stevens, our late, late Lonnie Stevens, who was the director of Mahogany, the movie with Diana Ross and other movies. I mean, very few men that I know that have that kind of insight on humans that he can, he can look at you and he can tell you exactly exactly who you are just talking to you for one minute he can really tell you who you are it's amazing this man so in acting this is something will help you in real life if you didn't watch the podcast it, every interaction with humans have one or four motivations and one or four goals it's either 
uh, building, establishing a relationship. You're meeting someone new for the first time. You're establishing a relationship. Or it's re-establishing a relationship. You're getting together with relatives, your mom, your family. Your, you're establishing a relationship. Friends, old friends. Uh, the third one is getting the job done. That means you want to do your job. You're going to go meet someone to, go, to do your job. You're there to do your job. You have a job to do and you do it in that, in that conversation. You have a job. You want to relay a message. You want to do something. You're doing it. And the last one, the fourth one, which is um, which is called getting help. You need help. So you have a conversation with people to need help. So when you do acting, uh, how would you know the relationship with that person? Do you know they give you a script? And in the script, you have to look at the script and go, and you have to talk a dialogue with another person. Well, how do you, a good actor will, will ask themselves that question. Is this, you know, Establishing a relationship, re-establishing a relationship, or re-establishing a relationship is in doing my job or is in trying to get help. And once you know that, uh, you know what? It gets a lot easier. In real life, when you go meet someone, you, you have to understand in the back of your head, what is my goal of going to talk to that person? What is my goal? What do I expect to get out of it? And that's that's how acting can help us in in real life enough i'm not your coach i'm your host so hello lily navas how are you uh, paul garland hello my friend all right again uh where is uh, mary who won yesterday uh i don't see her here she has to be present in at least once this week i mean there's no rule but hey Anyway, I'm going to, you know what? I did not have a chance to go to go, reasons to go to the ER. I will do that at a later time because I was walking Delilah for longer than I should to just to suck all the energy out of her so she can come and lay on the couch and just shut her eyes and go to sleep because we don't have energy at midnight and she does. So that was my goal and I tired her out. So she's sleeping. Good. So I did not have a chance, so I will do that. It's okay now. Oh, you're awesome. Okay. Uh, so here's your first question, and this came from Brent. And the question is, give me the worst name for a maternity wing of the hospital. Worst name for a maternity wing at the hospital. Worst name for uh Maternity word at the hospital. Where else would it be? <laughs> Worst name for maternity word at the hospital. And let's do this click. Okay, pin comment. Alrighty. So let's get the answer. Grease lightning. Uh oh, wrong baby. <laughs> Good one, Amy. Wrong babies. IRS deduction. <laughs> That's good. Oh, hello, Brent. Accidents. <laughs> Where's the baby? <laughs> that is funny. Oh, we get to shoot them out. Diaper then. <laughs> good one, Becky. All right. That's a good picture, huh? Do they still do that? I think they stopped doing that. They have to put the baby with the mom right now. Hello. Assorted umbilical cords for viewing. Teresa, thank you so much for today. You're amazing. Oops. Mr. Awesomeness has entered. Hello, Mr. Oh, Beverly Wicks is back. Hello, Beverly. What's this? <laughs> it's a baby. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> You're funny, Courtney. Brent, 18 years of pain. <laughs> Go long. What kid? <laughs> hey, Matthew. Uh, tax right off this way. Whose is it? <laughs> Last time. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are funny. This is fast. Catch your myth ready. <laughs> no sleep wing. <laughs> New arrivals. That's a good name. 
Oh, Twitch at birth. Switch at birth, not Twitch. <laughs> you don't want the baby to Twitch at birth. Many humans, <laughs> right. How did this happen? <laughs> More dead <death> wing. <laughs> Here today, yours tomorrow. <laughs> All of pain. That's funny, Debbie Malone. All of pain. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> Noisemakers, not party favors. This is good. Hi, Naz. Is the podcast available to watch? Was at the doctor's. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. This one for today will be available in this week in a few days on audio. It is available on YouTube and on this Facebook uh, immediately. And all the other ones you can go to laughterforallpodcast.com. Laughterforallpodcast.com. Ugly to the left, pretty to the right, don't lie. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. The pain begins. Bald, wrinkled, and screaming words. Ah, one at a time, wing, maybe. Guess your baby. <laughs> Push, not pull, wing. <laughs> Pick a baby. Pick your baby. You're welcome. It is hot today. It is hot today in California. I think upper 90s already. Man, what do I have? Chicken pox? Is that my shirt? I have chicken pox? Polka dot. That's not manly. Why would a man wear polka dot? Okay. <laughs> not pretty when it comes out, Wing. Spank the baby. <laughs> no sleep starts here. Good luck, Wing. Your first date maternity word. Oh, no. Oh, that's funny. I have a return. <laughs> uh, going to need a, sedat sed a sedative. Uh, 98 here today. Ouch, in Louisiana. But you guys have humidity. That makes it a little worse. Your parents' revenge maternity word. Slap your mama. <laughs> no returns. Not a monkey. <laughs> it could be. All right, let's see. Where's our Facebook people? Still no Facebook people. Good. They gave up on us. No mute button on baby. Cloning. Oh, husband social distancing wing. Extra hand. <laughs> BB kid. <laughs> All s all sales are final. Born with a mask. Today, California. Uh, yes, hi, Sarah. Uh, today, I was looking, and by the way, I was looking on um, uh, why it does that, where you can read comments on Facebook on your phone. I think you can. You, you go to YouTube and say how to clear my Facebook cache on fa on YouTube, uh, on uh, my phone, how to clear Facebook cache or cache on my phone, uh, go to YouTube and watch the video and I think you can clean the cache and if you clean it, then you're able to see the comments again. Little ringles, ringers, <laughs> ringlers, little ringlers, diaper surprise, it's a rooster. The beginning of the end. <laughs> oh, no. Chore maker. No more mask in California. Yes. Today in California, you don't need your mask anymore. But it's still needed on the plane. Ah. Never again land. Why, Lord, why, wing? <laughs> why, Lord, why, wing? Sanitize and share. Yes, Bobby. I missed you, Bobby. Let's sanitize people. There's about 99 people. We're growing, people. We're growing. This show is growing. We're going to hit 100 soon. Remember when we used to be 18 and 20? It's 100 people watching. So please sanitize and share this show. Please. Thank you. Oh, I love you too, people. Thank you. All righty. I have to figure out how to get my phone to actually play lives. Play, play lives on my phone. It still doesn't want to. Oh, still need the mask at work. I know. 
free paternity testing. Husband, don't touch <laughs> ever again, wing. <laughs> Bouncy room. Oh, man. Hear the sound of the infant scream. Happy papas and sleepy mamas. The Mori Bovic <laughs> wing. Good one, Paul. Good one. That's a good one. Uh, the polymorphic tried to find the blood test. That's funny. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay. Pain meds needed wing. You're right. Happy opening day in Louisiana. That is opening day of hunting for California. It's open for business. That's funny. It's open day for hunting. Surprise. You have twins. Parting gifts available on your way out. 18, what? Tanned. Timothy, 20 was fuzzy for me. I don't know what you're saying, sir. As the baby turns, <laughs> shh, silent zone in three, two. So many brats here. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Amazon is making the other employees wear a mask probably till the 17th and employees get the vaccine after that by Cal OSHA will no longer have to wear a mask. Just the employees who have not been vaccinated will have to wear it. That's the rule in California. If you're not vaccinated, you still have to wear a mask. Budget breakers maternity word. Surprise wing. Rugrats Incorporated. Oh, I got it. Okay, let's see. Stay hydrated, my friends. It's hot. Nazareth's worst name for maternity word. Another mouth to feed. Mary... A go around, never ending ride. Silver spoon, spoiled brats, been born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Shell game, which baby is it? A hundred. Double monkeys. Hello, Elena. Welcome. Another chance wing. Push, push, push again. Hey guys, if you can find someone to join us tonight, we'll hit 100. That would be awesome. If you know a friend, where's Becky Voss or someone? If you have someone in the house, have them get their own device and boom, click and join us and we'll hit 100 for the first time in 298 shows, 94 shows. Now you've done it. Boomers, <laughs> who ordered this baby through Amazon? <laughs> or maybe Amazon babies. Where's Rita? She's here. Poops and sliders. <laughs> Shoots and ladders. Mini me word. End to the sound of silence. Octomo <laughs> word. Here is Rita. Peekaboo, I see you. Don't stand there, wing. My mom's at a friend's right now. Sorry she let you down. <sniffs> That's fine. Oh, I need to have my wife. Hold on. If Maha joins in, can I try that? Hold on. Hold on. This is what we're going to do. Be I think we are back and we hit a hundred. No, did we? Yes. Yes. I think we hit a hundred. It says 99 on, oh, we hit a hundred people. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are our hundred. Yes, let me take a picture of it. Yes, yes, baby. Good job, people. Thank you so much. Give yourself a hand. This is awesome. We had a hundred people. That is amazing. I love you guys. This is exciting. All right, Crystal is here. You did it, Crystal. It was you joining, making us to 100. All right, Twist and Shout Wing. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. I'll be sure to let my mom. We got it. The oops, I did it again word. I should have danced all night. <laughs> Hibernation. Mayday, Mayday. We have 100 people watching. Yes. 99 100 yes we are at 100 thank you so much sympathy maternity word 300 babies we did it before you left oh good i was going to get maha to join in when she was already watching hi elaine harry <laughs> i just got warned my facebook about one of my comments <gasps> really are you you're gonna go into facebook jail and you know what you do after that you go to YouTube and watch us in there. Because we off, we figured a way to let you in. So let's see. What do we got? All right. Happy dance. Yes. Rita, why, how do you think that maternity fill up? Earplugs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they fill up from, from all what? The beers? <laughs> the 99 bottles of beers? That's what it is. All righty, let's go to another question, people. Um, uh, since today is opening day for California, and we no longer need masks in California, so give me a reason what other uses for a mask. Give me what are some uses for leftover face mask. Okay, let me see what I can do that and pin comment. Uh, give me some uses for leftover mask. For leftover masks. And that came from Mr. Brent again. Thank you, Brent. Okay. New swimsuit. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Some uses for left or slingshot, right? Amazon sells everything you need for babies. <laughs> no, no jail. I'm here. I know. Be careful. Earplugs. You have our condolences, <laughs> maternity word. All right. New swimsuit. Toilet paper. <laughs> Toilet paper. The look what you did to me. You owe me jewelry, baby word, right? Toilet paper, coffee filters, right? Little hamster hammocks. <laughs> Slingshots, eye covers, straining noodles. <laughs> A hammock for your hamster. <laughs> Slingshot, put the mask in the hamster cage for a hammock. For a hammock. <laughs> Fire starter. Puppy diaper. <laughs> oh, that would work. A puppy diaper. Toe covers to prevent sunburn at the beach. That's a good idea. Diapers. New diapers for your new baby. Burn your mask. Kindle for a fire. Doggy diaper. Mother-in-laws are still required to wear masks. <laughs> That's funny. We're 101 people, 101 people. All right, puppets, right, sleep mask, egg drop parachute, <laughs> chewing for Delilah, yep, Sh snot drag, <laughs> ouch, bird house awning, <laughs> mother-in-law silencer, <laughs> create a hat to shade your head, right, yeah, just pull it up there. Make a yamaka out of it. <laughs> Hand protector when picking stuff up or, or to opening door, right? Fish, fishing net. Exhaust pipe cover. Use it as a tent. Hammock for your birds. 
Used your mask as a duster to dust off your bookcase. <laughs> Squirrel tent. Man, those companies made money on those masks. They made a lot of money. Sew them together to make an emergency blanket. <laughs> Tissues. Let's see, what else can you use a mask for? Can Hmm. I can't think of anything. <laughs> a way to take off my cats. Bathroom cleaner. <laughs> Shoe protector. Oh, yeah. For your shoes. You can clean your shoes. Make an umbrella of all the masks you bought. You know, I think we're still going to keep masks on. I mean, you're going to keep a mask just in case you're around people who are all sneezing and coughing. Or you have a cold, now you don't feel as bad. But you go out and put your mask on. Eyeglasses, cleaning cloth, that's a good idea. Sell them back to the companies. <laughs> Plant, cozy. Hoard them all, sell them to further generations as memorabilia. That's right, keep some people. They're going to be worth some money <laughs> in 50 years. A muzzle for your dog, that would work. Shower cap <laughs> to help with thinning hair. All right, bandages. That's right, you can use them as bandages. If you have a cut, that's a good idea. Alrighty. Return them for toilet paper. Vacuum bags. Pirate eyes. <laughs> That's good, baby. Pirate eyes. Beard holder <laughs> when cooking. Oh. Time capsule item. <laughs> Hair net for beards. Tourniqu tourniquets. What is tourniquets, Courtney? Where's Art? I haven't seen Art, our our Webster guy. A tourniquet. Cover leftovers. <laughs> Hanky. Chloroform and mask work wonders. <laughs> yeah, for serial killers. Uh, we can use them for a prize on the Live with Nash show, right? Idiot silencer. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween costume. Keep wearing them so you don't have to smile. <laughs> right. Dr. Fauci said now everyone use sunscreen so that the next person next to you don't get sunburned. <laughs> Hammock for your pet rats. Gloves. Slippers. <laughs> Face cover for games such as hide and seek. Turna kit used to stop bleeding. Oh, okay. Slingshot. It takes a Canadian to explain an American term. I'm just kidding. It's what is used to stop bleeding or to slow blood when you have your blood drawn. Oh. Okay, yeah. Pool coverage. <laughs> Cat harness. Draw creative pictures on them and resell them. By the way, guys, this is um this is one of the cl uh, one of the exercises uh, we teach when we teach comedy. And that's one of the exercises comics do when they have to be sharp. Is you take any item and you start thinking what else you can use it for. That's really get your creative mind working, get your left brain working, and it just gets you in a creative mood. And that's what you guys are doing. And I, I guarantee you, this show, uh, if you've been with us for, for a length of time, uh, your what we call your comedy muscle, your funny muscle in your brain is a lot stronger, a lot bigger. And you are now a lot funnier than when you were when you first started watching the show with us. I guarantee you that. Because your brain is now thinking of funny stuff. And when you're thinking of funny stuff, you're not thinking of your problems, your bills, your health, your problems, your job. So really, it takes your mind off your problems. Because your mind is completely redirect it into somewhere else and some people watch the show once and like eh, this is stupid this is not you know you know what good it's not for you but 
but for for well, that's what it does. It's it has a powerful effect. Because for that one hour, t- your mind is working. You're becoming sharper, and also you're forgetting about whatever situation that you your mind been on, and you don't want to think about. So I'm not promoting the show because. This show doesn't sponsor live on NAS. No, I'm just kidding. It actually brought my funny back and made it better. It's true. And Nick, I can see it in a lot of you guys. You know, as, you, as you've as you been with us for a while, you just, you see the humor. It just, boom, comes out. I know you're funny. I mean, that's why you're sticking around and watching the show or, or, or being part of the show. You are funny. You, you know you're funny. You might say, oh, I'm not funny. Yes, you are. That's why you watch the show. But it does something. It's like Sudoku. It's like playing those puzzle games because your brain is thinking. And when your brain is thinking, it stays fresh. And they say, and don't quote me on this, this kind of delays Alzheimer's if that's in your future. Uh, So it's really good. Uh, Pimple hider, (laughs) earwax holder, ow. Ness, does one learn to be funny or does it come naturally? Both. Both. You can be great in sports. You're born naturally good. But unless you learn the techniques, you cannot, you know, you're not get, you don't get. But you, if you do learn the techniques and you are naturally funny, there's a huge advantage to that. Uh, you know, art installation Oh, thank you, Debbie Malone. Eskimo nose warmer for that first kiss. (laughs) Yeah, but they have to break the ice first (laughs) before they kiss. And that's going to be very difficult to have a relationship in the Eskimos because it's hard to break the ice. Bonfire. Crime scene (laughs) cover-up. What do you you kill a rat, Timothy? (laughs) First you're talking about chloroform and now crime scene cover-up. What are you you up to, (laughs) Timothy? Took away stress. The show promotes itself. Thank you. Booger <laughs> Art installation. Sorry, misspelled words again. No front. Connect a bunch of them together and have the world biggest face mask. Right. Use your mask as a slingshot. I am only in here to learn how to be funny because my wife needs a break. <laughs> you are funny. Every bone in your body is funny, Brent. You know that. Beer goggles, <laughs> wife, new CPAP, <laughs> new bra, or as my dad says, over the shoulder, boulder, holder. <laughs> you have a funny dad. Naz, with all this funny, this show is dope. Yeah, as in dopamine released in the brain. That's true. Thank you. Snoring silencer, sock for half of your foot. <laughs> I'm concerned about Timothy is up to something. I know it's scaring me right now. Hey, Timothy, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say right now can be held against you in the court of law. Which, by the way, we're praying for you about this whole uh, you know, insurance case. Some use it for leftover. Uh, I'm reading my own. Elbow cover. A new sports bra for my dogs. You need eight of them. Butt shiner, <laughs> pine box liner. Oh, return all the mask back to Amazon. <laughs> the world's biggest roll of face mask. Man, I was gonna stop on that question. Oh, by the way, let's sanitize again and share. We are down to ninety-eight people. See, Timothy, you scared a couple people. Just kidding. <laughs> all right, sanitize and share. Alrighty. Let's see. What other uses? Let's look at Facebook and see if anybody decided to learn more. Okay. All right. Spacesuit. Reusable TP. <laughs> the world's biggest roll of face mask. All right. Let's change the question on you. What time is it right now? It is 9.06. 
Okay, let's uh, remember to return to Amazon, not Walmart. <laughs> okay, let's do the Guinness Book of World Record right now. Guinness Book of World Record, people. This is your chance to win something. A little thing. This thing. Toilet paper. Leftover. Not leftover. No, that that's all. This is brand new, never been used, trust me. But you get that. So let's see. Hair bun holder. Uh, either scare them or give them ideas. <laughs> You're right. Uh, earplugs. Don't return to Amazon. I'm not taking them. The other day, Amazon had a vacuum return used full of dirt and the brush was so dirty. I know. That's like Costco. People return. All right. Re Teresa's ready to play the Guinness Book of World Record. I'm going to read you a record from the Guinness Book. And you have to guess the number. And if you guess it right, you win the prize. Today is National Smile Power Day. What a, what a coincidence to have it on the day we remove the masks here in California. National Sp Smile Power Day. And in the Philippines, in Manila, the largest human smiley was achieved during an event organized by Alliance in Motion Global, Inc. at Burnham Green Quirino Grandstand, Linta Park, Manila, Philippines in May 2015. So they had thousands of people stand and make a smiley, an emoji, a smiley. So how many people were there? Over 5,000, under 10,000, even number. Over 5,000, under 10,000. Start your guesses. Mice hammock. Suzanne Werder, welcome back. Car seat repair kit to play. <laughs> Change holder. Maha staple <laughs> pastry holder. Vacuum filter. Mice hammock. 3,000. One mile. Send all your mess to Sleepy Joe. <laughs> 65.44 for Brent. 58.76 for Amy. 78.88 for Brent. 68.76 for Amy. 96.52 for Brent. Pancho states Frank. 7,500. Amy. 74.32. National Smile Power Day is showcased in Manila. By 65.38 attendees. Uh, Courtney said 55.50, 68.88, and 88.88. 6,000, 7,002, and 9,022 for Rita. 5,500, 6,500, and 7,500 for Bobby. Timothy said 7,777. Suzanne said banana wrapper. Debbie Malone, 49.87. It's over 5,000. Debbie, try again. You're okay. Becky Ottenberry, 66, 66, 88, 88, 99, 98. New mattress padding. Okay, Crystal said 67, 89, 78, 90, and 80, 80. Lily Nava said, question had work call. Question had work call. Oh, the question is, the largest human smiley was achieved by how many people? They they gathered in a field to make a smiley face. How many? Over 5,000 people, under 10,000, even number. The rooster just wishes he could smile, but all he can do is look majestic on the Purina Beyond Natural Dog Food bag, but it's a paying gig. <laughs> Backup napkin. Right. 77, 66, 88, 77, and 55, 66 for Matthew. Teresa said 86, 52. Catherine, 4,000, 23, 86, and 56, 78. You have more, two more tries, Catherine's over 5,000. New suspenders, right. 50, 10, 60, 10, and 70, 10 for Elena. Michael Ramirez, 68, 78, 74, 34, and 80, 82. 80, 82, and then they must have been singles. Athletic support, 62, 25 for Teresa. 55, 57, 60, 86, and 99, 97. Russo has been posi posing for wind chime, 
to make some extra money for the wedding. He's hoping to have Truby. Hen says yes on show 300. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we'll figure it out. 68, 50, 74, 20, 81, 40 for the future pool owner, Lily Navas. Hot food holder, Teresa said 98, 82. Backup toilet paper. People that have big gaps in their teeth can use it, the leftover mess to floss with. <laughs> okay, Catherine Allen, over 5,000, Catherine. We're going to wait for you to give us two more guesses and we'll go for the answer. What if Ruby says no? Well, I don't think she will. Nest, Sarah can use the mask for a nest to hold her rooster's baby chicks. Well, it's not a rooster. Okay. Let's see. Catherine Allen, give me your final answers and then we will give you the answers, people. It's okay now since Ruby the Red Hen is shy. Just be giving a play-by-play -play or just an update. <laughs> All right. 80-10 for Elena Hemingway Cosgrove. And Catherine 6,000-7,000 Tammy Faye Baker's makeup remover. That's funny. All right. All righty, guys. I think we're ready for the answer. And it's funny. Just like yesterday, the last answers were the right answers. The largest human smiley was achieved by 8,018 people. 8,018 people. And the closest one that came to it was Elena Hemingway with 8,010. Now, before Elena gave us the 8,010, Michael Ramirez was going to go home with that prize, which is he needs a lot. But Elena took that in the last second and won that beautiful Toilet paper, congratulations. It took 8,018 people in a stadium to make a smiley emoji. And our Walmart representative, Elena, has won the award. Congratulations. You can spell out SOS on the sound of a deserted island. The rooster said the mess would work as a rocking baby chick cradle. He's already thinking family. So then we're there, said 7654, 56, I'm glad you're not close, otherwise I would felt horrible. Drum lo roll times 8,000. Congrats, Elena. Elena, Elena is a winner. All righty. We are at 102 people, ladies and gentlemen. We are 102 people. I'm so proud of you all. Let's ask you the last question for the night. Please tell me other uses for duct tape give me some other and that came for dumb dumb uses for duct tape give me some dumb uses for duct tape Uh, not some. Wait, 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 wait. Where is dumb uses for duct tape? Let pin it. Okay, let's see what it. Javier, Javier, Alan Casta. Hello, Javier. How are you? Welcome to the show. It's good to see you, brother. We always ask if it's your first time. Just let us city and state. Where you at? Yes, yes. Jimmy Swagger's tear catcher. <laughs> That's another use for uh, mask. But okay, dumb uses for duct tape: patching holes in a car tire. Anything you want. Holding the car engine together. Ten man costume. Child restraint. <laughs> On a duck. Yep. Uh, silencers <laughs> again Timothy we're concerned <laughs> put it on a duck <laughs> poor reflective cover <laughs> holding your engine together lipstick duct tapes my husband mouth shut <laughs> all right Amy counseling <laughs> okay boat repairs on the water hold your bumper on your car right hair removal <laughs> 
speaking of hair, let's sanitize people. Let's sanitize all 102 of you. Please sanitize and share and join us every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're in the East Coast, you're one of those night owls. You stand and sanitize and share. If you don't want to share, let your friends know. If you don't want to let your friends know, join us on Instagram and the Comedian Nazareth or, or subscribe to the Laughter for All podcast and we'll all be happy. Sleep, sleep mask, <laughs> right? To hold my wife's meatballs together. Duct tape, a way to entertain small children. <laughs> New clothes. We should have said duck tape. It may offend the ducks. Oh, that's right. All right. I'm from Escondido. New venture greats. All right, Javier. Welcome, my brother. I love speaking. I was just there, what, a few weeks ago teaching there? That's awesome. Uh, noise silencer. Contraceptive. <laughs> Contraception. Okay. Use it in a bowl of soup. <laughs> A way to keep small children a bit quieter. Making a dress. A headband. <laughs> How about band-aid? Holding the fifth marriage together. <laughs> a cast. Right? Ouch. Duct tape. Yes. Excess silencers. <laughs> Alternative spider web. Send prayers my way. Dealing with COVID-19. Oh, Javier, we'll be praying for you, brother. In about four minutes or five minutes. Yes, exactly five minutes. At 9.23, we start praying for people. Shoes, soul protector. <laughs> Seeing if the kids will stick to the wall. <laughs> Try it. And let, me, and let us know. Hold the freezer door closed. <laughs> Taping geese. On a polar bear to know it's, if it's, it's coming at you. Yes. Use red duct tape on your broken brake lights. <laughs> That's true. Hold the fruits on the trees. <laughs> hey, Teresa Berdo, how much coffee did you have tonight? Hopefully not as strong as the last time, but glad you're here. <laughs> to fill in the gaps between teeth. Earwax remover. Ouch. Low carb pasta, exhaust pipe cover. <laughs> you could call gorilla tape, but then you would have found you would have found the gorillas. TV set, <laughs> waist slimmer. <laughs> I think that works right. As a coffin, <laughs> athletic support, hair remover, jump rope, call it sticky tape, undergarment. <laughs> <laughs> Undergarment and hair removal, I think they're going to work together with that, Courtney, right? <laughs> Sarah didn't have any tonight. Oh, no coffee for Sarah. A way to freak out the dog. Continued prayers, much appreciated for my current issue. We are praying for you, Timothy. New mummy costume. I have seen a whole car window been replaced. <laughs> That's right. Oh, when I was a youth pastor, we did duct tape used to wall. It was a blast. Here, here's your answer, Courtney. You can duct tape kids to the wall. A new way to shave your face. Wrap presents. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> wrapping presents with duct tape? <laughs> that is funny. Oh, keep the lid down on the toilet seat. <laughs> Applying weave. <laughs> Worst game of Twister ever. <laughs> Wig holder. <laughs> Duct tape people to rolling office chairs and spin them round and round till they tell you the truth. <laughs> COVID 2020 facelift fail. <laughs> Duct tape a broken toilet seat. Oh, good night, Catherine. What time is it? 9.20. In few minutes, we'll start praying. Alrighty, let's see. Parakeet's diaper. <laughs> Skin remover, don't ask. Teresa Berdos, you'll fall asleep just before the show ends, right? 
This morning I was babysitting and we made a marble track with toilet paper rolls and duct tape. Aww. That's nice. A replacement for Botox, right? <laughs> to, hide, to hide toilet paper with. That's funny. Have a very good day and awesome week. Thank you, Timothy Fakhuri. We'll see you tomorrow night. God willing, Wednesday night is tomorrow night. Duct tape a goose. Teresa is awake. All righty. Some dumb uses for duct tape to use as a practical joke. I have a, I have different color duct tape, but I don't use them much. I don't know why. New shoes for a slip and slide. To stop air from leaving a punctured bicycle tire. There's so much things as goose tape. There's no such thing as goose tape, right? Why do they call it duct tape? Or is it duct tape? It's duct tape. That's right. Not duck. Did I? Oh, did I put duct tape? That's why you guys are picking on me. Oh, it's duct tape for the duct on the air conditioning. Alrighty, I get it. Ah, Sarah, <laughs> keeping someone in bed. <laughs> Book cover, right, Javier? To seal off windows. To secure the top of the p on the pot of baked beans on their way to the family reunion, <laughs> right? So it doesn't spill. It's duct tape, not duct tape. All right, I just found that out by myself. But thank you for seconding that. Because they didn't want to call it sticky tape. A skate or knee and elbow pad repair kit. Duct for ducts. Naz, do you ever get a duck tail hair cut growing up? No, never. I used to have long hair. All, for a long time, I had long, long hair down to here, but I never did ponytails. A bug snatcher. Right, that would work. You just hang it. <laughs> but I think there's a brand of duct tape actually called duct tape. So confusing. I know. Pray for my friend Lisa Marie. Okay, it's time to pray. 923. Pray for my friend Lisa Marie Thomas. Her husband Thomas was sent to the ER today. Oh, no, he was outside playing with his grandkids. Fall to the ground three times. Ooh, we'll be praying for him. It was originally for ducks, but it's not really effective or that. There's a brand called Duck Tape. Oh. Bottom of shoes to keep you balanced <laughs> as nail polish. <laughs> that would work. <laughs> That's true. It lasts forever. Wave it in the air and yell, this is a stick up. All right. Anybody needs prayer? Let's pray for Timothy. Let's pray for uh, Amy's friend. Sarah, is your hand feeling better? We're praying for that. Praying. Pray for wisdom for this whole Dodger Stadium thing. I need a lot of wisdom. Please pray. Pray, pray, pray. Should we do it in the fall? Should we not do it in the fall? An unspoken for a friend could have been a face mask. Yeah. So prayer request, people. Anybody has a prayer request? We can pray for you. More gigs for Naz. Thank you. You know what? Five minutes before this show started, uh, someone, remember I was in... Uh, Kingman, Arizona, a few months ago, they want me back to do a big event for the whole city. October 1st, Kingman, Arizona. So, yes, thank you. Job hunting. Yes, we're praying for you to find a job that, you know, that meets your qualification, not just doing Amazon. My hand's doing better. I just have to be careful to not overdo it or I've been able to work on my project. Amen. I keep John Riscala in prayer that he wins the 10,000. Thank you. He won it. Yes. Also. Yeah, I have another unspoken prayer. Keep that in prayer for you. But please keep my hand in prayer. Complete healing. Prayer for my kid. 
She's been hard on herself and battling depression. I will definitely pray for your kid, Courtney. Man, that age is so hard. You know, I was listening to John MacArthur and just amazing how Satan attacks that generation so hard. So hard. There's a spiritual war hard on our kids. You'll be walking through doors that no man can shut. Now, thank you, Teresa. I appreciate that. Okay. All righty, all righty, all righty. Let's see. Let me read you something. You know, I always pray for wisdom, but I mean, one of the best wisdom you can get is from the Proverbs. I was reading Proverbs 15 today. and says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but... A harsh word stirs up anger. That is so true. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Isn't that comforting, people? Isn't that comforting that eyes of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he who receives correction is prudent. In the house of the righteous, there's much treasure. Did you hear that? In the house of the righteous, there's much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the fool does not do so. Amen. So, it's a lot about the tongue. Wisdom and the tongue. You know, think before you speak. Decide what you're going to say. Pray this week will be a manageable. Would have been my dad's birthday. Oh, 18th. And on the 24th, it's the third anniversary of his death. I'm so sorry. May I really missing him. We'll be praying for you. Pray that California still stays open. Amen. How is Maha's cousin? I know. She's watching. I think she can tell us an update. I forgot to ask her last night. Good night, Amy. It was good to see John again today, praying for his career. Thank you so much. She was happy prior to the shutdown and now she doesn't know how to cope. She has fun until something doesn't go the way she wants and then she shuts down. I know. Oh, that's common now. That's just, you know, she's not the only one. There's people exactly the same emotion she goes through. Good night, Alan. Praying for gigs and shows for now. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you for another fun show tonight, Naz. And then we'll see you all tomorrow, Lord willing. Thank you guys so much. How many mother-in-laws did King Solomon have? He sure needed wisdom. Amen. Thank you for an amazing show tonight. Thank you, Bobby. Great podcast today. It was a blessing. Thank you. And Kent, yes, thank you. Pray for daughter and son-in-law who injured the back, his back on job. An employer would not file workman's comp legal process as a result of this negligence. Thank you. We'll be praying for that. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Teresa. Love you. Love you guys so much. Thank you all. 102 people today. Good night. I'll keep you in prayer. And we'll see you tomorrow night. God willing. Good night.